right, everybody, my name is Furby2 from Furby2 Gaming, and hey, hey, welcome to a new indie horror game called Zero Visibility. Now, what is Zero, zero Visibility? I have no idea. But I can assume that it's a... You could call it a cosmic horror game, because it just screams cosmic horror. And uh, it's about four friends taking a trip to the mountains to enjoy their uh, off time. And somehow they get obstructed, obstructed by a heavy blizzard, reducing their visibility to zero, and decide to walk the rest of the way. And they get a sense that there is something off about the mountains. And that's why we're here to find out. And anyway, if you guys want zero visibility as well, uh, the information and the link to the game will be posted on the description description panel down below. And if you enjoy the vi enjoy the video, and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it, uh, please give my video a like. And of course, I will let you guys know uh, at the end of the video what I think. So let's begin our journey with zero visibility. With 100% visibility. Guys, I can't be that big of a deal. Wait, <laughs> uh, Leo. Guys, it can't be that big of a deal. I'm sure it's cool, but... Yeah, no. It's just a lot of fun, Elaine. Boyd says, Elaine, you should be ashamed of yourself. It's everything. Your life up to now, it was empty, and you didn't even realize it. It's just been a long, sad preamble. Leo says, A long preamble to Hot Springs? Boyd says, You know it, baby. Hot Springs doesn't really describe it well. So Sarah says, It's more like a really warm river. Boyd replies, <laughs> Like when somebody pees in the water near you all the time. You're a poet, Boyd. You aren't things like this better in the summer? Nah, nothing like soaking in hot water surrounded by snow. I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. Looks like we're about 40 minutes out. God, will you quit it with a, with a map? It's just Chalk Creek Road all the way up. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Ooh! What? Oh! That's a bit different from a pixelated TD. Three-dimensional driving. <laughs> okay. Up to Creek Road here. I'm going to be sticking to the right side of the road and make sure no one comes towards me on the left. <laughs> Sarah says, Was there snow in the forecast? Nope. I checked this morning. It's the mountains, dude. Anything can happen. Will they be still open? Of course. They'll be open. Hot springs don't close for snow. Right. We'll drive slow. We'll drive slow. I couldn't go much faster even if I wanted to. The trash mobile can barely handle these hills. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is crashing. But hey, it's a nice, it's a nice day, snowy day, up in the mountains, so quiet. Heading to the hot springs to enjoy the snow. And, okay, now we're getting some pickup from the snow. Look at the ground, it's already frozen. I can't see shit. The snow's really picking up. This doesn't look good. Maybe, maybe we should go back. Boyd seems to have the right idea. He's got my vote. We're way closer to the hot springs than we are to home. And we can't, and we can stay there overnight if we need to. Ugh. Of course, this had to happen today. The one day we were all free. It's fine, Sarah. Let's just focus on driving. We've got a map. You've all been here before. Okay, but everyone be on the lookout for street signs. Y'all know the Donner Party. Well, when we inevitably get around to eat each other. Shut up, Lloyd. You're not helping. I'm keeping up morale. Anyways, I vote we eat Leo first. Hmm. Then again, Boyd may have some dumbass ideas. 
Okay, I can see the difference on the road. That is already covered in snow, or it's frozen, no idea. Screen's shaking a bit. And we're clearly getting some fog, or... Wait. I didn't just... I, am I not the only one who saw that, right? Something was in front of our road. Hold up, sir. There's a straight sign. How, wh what does it say? I can't read it from here. Me neither. Hold on. I'll pull over. We'll just hop out and take a look. 15 second stops. I bet we can get a nice marble steak out of Leo. Shut up, boy. To myself. Maybe a chili. Okay. We exit out of the car. Oh my. Okay. That is an interesting take with a 3D to D2D. Uh, uh, um, gameplay, I guess? Okay, that must be me. I am playing as Sarah, I think? I'm not sure when this is. What the hell? What kind of absolute psychopath would do that? Do what? The sign's all scratched out. It's completely in, uh, in, illegible. In, uh, in, 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 okay. This is where my, uh, I, my English gets tongue-tied. Illegible. But there are some words that I cannot freaking say. <laughs> and uh, y'all can laugh at me about that, but, um... Oh, wait. Sorry. My, my mouth was a little too close there. Uh, sorry. It's a little too close there. Y'all can laugh at me about that bullshit, but hey. It's what I provide. I can provide some laugh in a truly horrific situation. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's think about this logically. Here at Fort, there's a tunnel ahead and a branch off to the side. Leo, there are anything like this on the map? Uh, there are like 15 different forts like this in the area. So, we're lost. We're not lost. We didn't take any turns getting on Chalk Creek. If we keep go moving, we should reach Johnson Village any minute. Can we discuss this in the car? I'm freezing. Can we go back to the car? I honestly just want to go back to the car and just, like, uh, get out of here. Okay, so... Okay, so... Okay, uh, how about... I haven't checked this one. How about let's check over here? It's completely caved in. Cool, great, awesome, love it. Okay, I can actually turn. Oh my god, I can actually do 3CC turns in this game. In this game, it isn't just three 2D mapping scrolling bullshit. Okay, so we're gonna get in and drive to the right side. Hopefully, we can get to where we need to, and the road is getting more covered in snow. Okay, I honestly just want to go home. Because uh, I just have an extreme bad feeling about this. We've already seen a cave-in uh, tunnel. What the hell? Wait, what the hell was that? Exactly, the screen was shaking. Man. I don't know. The car is chuckling. We must be out of gas. How? We had half a tank like 20 minutes ago. Maybe there is a leak? Fuck. Let's... Okay. So we are out of gas... Yeah, out of gas. Well, what do we do? What do we do? We'll freeze if we stay in here. We have to continue on foot. Grab anything more we can and find a bun. Find. Ah! I keep reading it wrong. Okay. Grab anything warm you can find and bundle up. Which we are already doing so. Oh my God! I love the music. Okay, what do I see? Hold up. Are those fire trucks? We can ask them for help. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be. Oh my god. Oh, I. Did. I just saw that. I'm not the only one who saw that, right? What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay. 
I really love that music. Right. Looks like a landslide. The doors on the trucks are open. I don't think they're still here. They're here. Hmm. There are footprints in the snow. Let's look fresh. They look fresh. I'm pretty sure it's fresh. Fresh kill, I guess. <laughs> and look at that. Look at that and that. The footsteps just stop right there. And I see... What the fuck are those? What the hell? Pretty sinister. I've never seen anything like this. Like, you're into rugs, right? Not enough to recognize this. That's all, maybe? But the angles are too perfect. They look man-made. I don't like this. I think we should just go back the way we came. Again, good idea, Void. Can we leave? I don't think we can leave. Can we... What the fuck just happened? No, 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 no! Exactly! That's not... That's not possible! Did we get turned around? How? How can we get turned around? We walked through here like 30 seconds ago! Guys, we have to keep moving. It's freezing, and we don't have any supplies. Okay, first of all, what the fuck happened there? We just went through. And all of a sudden, the pathway just gets blocked. Like, what the fuck happened? Are we in a dungeon? Is a dungeon master decided to block off the path? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? Sarah! Sarah! Huh? What? Why did you stop? I... I'm fine. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. And... We... What was... What was... What was that we just experienced? A vision, perhaps? Maybe? Possibly a vision. And... Now, before that, I saw... This. A train? Jesus. Jesus, this is getting... This thing is old. Looks like a model train kit. Like a kid got frustrated and tossed it across the room. They ain't look, they ain't, they ain't look no train toy. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened there, the train, but look at this. That's a whole landscape of spikes right here. Okay, so what we got here? Uh, a marking? Wait. There's something here. The pile of rocks. There's a note on it. Hmm. <clears throat> Please send help. One of us is injured, and the blizzard is only getting worse. There are fresh footprints in snow, but we've searched for hours and haven't found a soul. We tried to retrace our steps, but we can't find the way out. We've been waiting for a search party, but with this weather, I don't think it's coming. The bridge is damaged, but we think, but we think we can fix it. Fix, fix it. See what I mean? I'm, I'm just like amazed and uh, panicking, Mika, and it just makes my speech it got here. It's, I'm sorry. It, I'm getting fumbled. Hmm. If you can find this note, we've gone on ahead. Maybe we'll find a way off this damned mountain. There are others stuck here, and they got walled off too. I think it's like this place is trying to keep us here, or trying to push us forward. If it's trying to push us forward, it's doing a shit job. Those spikes aren't exactly welcoming. Uh, they sure aren't, my friend. And I don't like the, the way the bridge looks. Look at that. There's like, there's like a lot uh, like a... These spikes. There's a bunch of spikes. They're not natural either. This doesn't look sturdy at all. It's the only way forward, so it doesn't matter. If it's sturdy or not. But when did we put Sarah in charge? Shut up, Boyd. You're not helping. No, but actually, does this seem unnecessarily dangerous to anyone else? We're climbing across an old rickety bridge above a spike pit. I think it would be better to go back. Again, Boyd, you have a good idea. So you think we should go wait by the giant wall that suddenly appeared blocking our way out? Okay, fair point. But it wouldn't be smarter. It wouldn't be smarter just to post up and wait for rescue. The route out is blocked. This, that means the route 
in is blocked as well. Nobody is coming to get us, Boyd. Exactly. You had the right idea, Boyd, but it was already too late when we entered there. It entered here. <laughs> but look at this. Look at that. Look at those spikes just protrude out of the ground. And what's with the red light? Again, what's with the red light? Again, another vision. Sarah. Sarah. What's up with you? Did... Did you all see... Can we talk about this when we're not... Not two steps from falling to our deaths? Boyd's right. We can't stop here. <laughs> okay, we can't stop here. We just gotta keep going. Okay, we're almost there to wherever it is. I don't like the angle. What's with that angle? Well, okay, we're just going through some spikes. I just don't like the way the camera angle is post back here. Okay. I was worried for a moment there. But it looks like there is another uh, rock pile. Maybe a flat point. A, a waypoint, right? Another note. I don't know how long I've been here. Weeks? Years? Time doesn't have meaning here. The snow never stops. There's no day or night. Fires never stop burning. Footprints never fade. I'm freezing. I have no food, but I'm still alive. I found a note on the other side of the bridge. Whoever wrote it seems to have vanished. To have vanished without a trace. Maybe they went on ahead. Or maybe they were rescued. There's no way back. All the paths are blocked. I want to keep going moving forward. I feel like I need to. But it doesn't make any sense. I don't trust the feeling. It's false. I should be waiting for rescue or looking for food, not going further up the mountain. But I need to reach the peak. I need to understand. Please find me. I'm so alone. You and us both. Okay. There's a house. I see a house right there. Holy shit, is that a house? More like a shack. Maybe they have a phone. Okay. I just picked up on the sound that I hear heartbeats. I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen as soon as we move into the shack. I'd be surprised if they have a toilet. Shut up, Boyd. Thank God, finally some luck. Alright, let's move into the house then. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? Oh, oh what? What just. Lane! Fuck, fuck, fuck! What? Wait, where is she? Did you not see it? Something. Oh my god, oh my god. Exactly, that's my feeling. Everyone, slow down. What happened? Hey, please, I repel me. Someone help me. What the hell is going on? I think. I think I saw something. Take a lane. Something? Like what? A bear? I don't know. Where did they go? Well, we need to help her. Where did he go? Down. Down? They me to the snow. The snow is not that deep. How can something go down into the snow? I don't fucking know. I'm just telling you what I saw. Our footsteps just stop. Come on. Let's check the house. If there's something, if there's someone there, maybe they can help. Oh my god, I love the music. Okay, first of all, I love the music when they happen. The sound, the, that little music, that you know, little sequence when that thing had just appeared. Whatever that was, that that alien entity is just like appearing. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's knock on the door. Hello? Is anyone there? We need a phone! Our friend! Please. I don't have a phone. Please! We need help! I have a gun. Go. Just go, and no one gets hurt. Thank God! He, had a, he has a gun! Why would you say thank God he has a gun? The way I... The, the way he sounds and he talked about, he's not making any friends. He just wants to be left alone. Please! Our friend was taken by something! We need... He opens a window. I said, leave. Oh, oh Lord. You're, you're just a bunch of kids. Please, sir. Somebody took our friend. We need your help. 
You have a gun! You could " "The gun's empty. I used the last bullet years ago. Listen please listen to me. I know this is hard to hear, but please don't go looking for your friend." "Are you fucking nuts?" "Look just listen. That thing that took your friend will only attack if you try to reach the peak. If you don't try to move forward it'll leave you alone. I'm the proof. Please. I've seen dozens of groups like yours and they all end up " "What the fuck are you talking about? Are we gonna leave Elaine out there? Not even try to find her?" "No, no. You're right. We need to keep moving. Please don't do this. You're just kids. I can't let kids " "I don't give a shit what you think. I'm not leaving a friend to die because some old man in the shack said so. If you wanna catch up to them, we need to leave now." "Uh, guys, he just gave you a fair warning." "Gave you a fair warning?" "He's trying to help you guys and somehow you're right, let's go." "Yeah. It just makes me think back into the other note when, uh, uh, the guy that left the note had a previous thought that they had that he had a need to go. That something is telling him to go. They're ignoring the old man's warnings. They're ignoring this guy's warnings. And, uh, and, uh, they're just, I know they're worried about their friend, but clearly we saw that their friend kind of ended up taken to the snow or whatever. Alright, I see graves, yeah. The dead end. Let's go back the other way. The graves. They look I don't care. The lane's still out there. We need to get moving. Okay, so it's quite unfortunate that they're not gonna listen. And uh they are ignoring this man's warnings. I believe we should have taken Void's advice at first and just leave and go behind and go back home. But the unfortunate thing is we are now trapped in a mountain and uh, we ended up, well, now being prey to this thing. And of course, one of our friends is taken. And now there's just three of us left. Another waypoint, another one. We decided to take the only open. It leads further up the mountain. We'll keep moving until we find a path to take us back down. At least, that's my plan. The others are behaving strangely. Like... We are now? Almost like they've given up on rescue, or even finding our own way home. All they talk about is reaching the top of the mountain. Maybe there's something in the air? A hallucinogen or something? Maybe it's just the hunger or the in the cold. It might be getting to me too. I've been seeing a silhouette just out of sight in the fog. I have already seen it before we entered the mountain. I haven't even haven't gotten a good look at it yet. Anytime I catch a glimpse, it disappears. At first I thought it was a mountain lion, but now I'm not convinced. There's intelligence there, like we're being investigated. Like it's waiting to see what we do. The further we move up the mountain, the closer it gets. Maybe it's just a hallucination, but I'm starting to think moving forward isn't such a good idea. Again, sound advice. Why can't we go back? Because our only way out is blocked. I don't trust the others anymore, but I can't bring myself to split up with that thing out there in the fog. Reasonable. Please find us. I don't want to die up here. Anyone who wants to die in the mountains, especially in the snow. Let's investigate. I don't think we can investigate here. I thought that kind of looks like a, a reasonable place to investigate. More spikes, more deep. Oh, that's the uh, place they went to. Okay, so, <clears throat> so yes, uh, like I was saying, something is telling us to keep moving forward. Yeah, like uh first few seconds uh, when we entered the mountain we've seen two pictures or visions that Sarah has experiencing visions and we are playing as her we have to move forward as the game intended and oh no no the camera's backing up again is it gonna show up again
Yep, yep, there he is! There's Ant-Man! There's Ant-Man! There's Ant-Man! Oh shit! Leo, no! Leo! Where did he go? Where the fuck did he go? Boyd! Fuck! Boyd! Please! We need to keep moving! <laughs> yeah, we keep moving. Oh, what the fuck is Exactly right. It's freaking fucking fucked. It is extremely fucked. <laughs> this is the first time I ever said we dropped the ant bombs a lot. Anyway, again, I know it's bad that our friends are being taken, and it's just two. Now there's two again. Two now. And uh, the music every time that thing shows up, it takes us. I can't help but banging my head and be because it's it's got good vibes. It's got good vibes, but. But horrible, of course. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Okay, they were more prepared than us. And the boy's not gonna say anything. The voice is just broken. And there's the trail of blood. Into those tents. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Were they killed in their tents and dragged? Holy shit! It looks like they were being pulled out of their tents. Nothing to say, boy? No witty remarks? No... reason why we should just get the fuck out? No going back? No... Uh... Nothing? We should have just gone back, though I told you so. Boyd was right in the beginning. We could have just gone with Boyd's advice and just gone back home. Sure, something was wrong in the first place when I first saw that silhouette. In the road. Before we pulled up on the signs. What is this book? Okay, I can't believe we found it. It's more incredible than I could ever imagine. Our measurements were correct. The gravitational fluctuations are much stronger than our initial calculations. Time is warped beyond any currently understood scientific explanation. Whatever this place is seems to be... Uh, no, no, no. Uh, seems to have been floating through space and time since long before the birth of our sun. What are the chances of it crossing Earth? Trillions to one? So this place, there's logic to it. There's a logic to it. Void, I think this was a research crew. I... I don't want to know. Let's just... Let's just keep moving. Let's keep moving forward. We must keep moving. I don't know, the, something is compelling me to keep moving forward towards the end of the game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I just remembered something, I'll be right back. Uh, I was supposed to check in with something in an hour, so, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry everybody, I am back. I apologize for uh, being absent for a few minutes. <laughs> well, I was a bit hungry, and I kind of wanted something to snack on. Yeah, because I got hot. I got warm. I got cold, too. Uh, Emma. I don't feel cold anymore. I don't feel much of anything, really. The bridge is as still as a done. I don't know how long I've been here. Ben and Drew are gone. Whatever those things are, took them. I made grace for them. It felt like the right thing to do. I wonder if someone will make a grave for me too. Adam. And... 
and I see the footsteps. I think Adam... Adam might have taken a toll and... What the fuck? Those are bodies. I think that's where he went. I think he had enough. I mean, he would rather die... Die quickly than being taken to... By that monster, or whatever that thing is. But look at that! Holy shit! I guess, uh... We weren't the only ones that this is more than 20? 30? How many people have taken the same jump? Oh my god. Oh my god, are those bodies? Watch your step, boy. It's a long way down. Boy, are you okay? Are you thinking about jumping? Are you gonna be the next one that jumps, Boyd? Come on. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for... I'm just waiting for Boyd just to suddenly screech wee and just, uh, jump. But ultimately, I think... Whoa. What? Hold on a second. I know I just came back for a few minutes, and uh, now I realize that silhouette right there is the first vision I received. That must, that, that, look at that. Look at that structure. It's really well made. Oh my crap. I really like the atmosphere in the, in the, in the, in the design, by right here and there. Nice, and, and look at this. Four more graves piled on each other, I guess. Rest in peace, Adam. Everyone deserves a proper burial. Indeed. <laughs> Bloody deed. But how? Either he got dragged into the into that pit below, or he dragged them out of those that long ass cliff anyway let's just keep going let's just keep moving forward will I be attacked again am I gonna be the last one Sarah I I don't think we're supposed to be here no shit we're not supposed to be here what are you talking about this place whoever built it didn't want people to come here so threatening, it feels like a warning. I mean, what, what made you think that, man? I mean, the red lights everywhere, the red lighting shining, the gothic and uh, alien gothic structure right in front of us. Lots of the, the, a lot of bodies down the fucking uh, ravine. The spikes. I want to go back. I want to go home. Boyd ha has had enough. Boyd, we can't go back. I know. I know. Indeed. We're already trapped. Our friends partaken. And we, it's, just, it's just the feeling, the fear that we just want to go home to someone familiar. But we know we can't because, well, we can't go back because our way is already blocked. Alright. There's another one. My companions refuse to believe that that's why they were taken. They lacked faith. God brought us here, and we were chosen, and they didn't live up to expectations. I've never been the religious type, but this place is all the proof I need. I don't know what kind of God lies at the end of this path, but I can't deny its power. I've seen it with my own two eyes. And I'd be choosing to believe. Okay, we got a dangerous individual here. Alright, so... Again, we can't go back. Yeah, we can't really definitely can't go back, so... Let's check inside here. 
Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, where? 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 Holy crap, no! Shit! No! Oh, wait, no! Fuck! Fuck! I can't, yo. Fuck. Sucks. Okay. Oh my god. Now it's just me. It's just Sarah. <laughs> Have a moment to calm down. Have myself a drink. And try to explain this. <clears throat> even before taking this even before taking the steps, I've already got captured the this already captured my attention before that thing took our our last void. <laughs> our void void. Okay. So what are these murals, right? An upside down entity. What is that supposed to be? Our the sun, right? And our planet, right? I can assume uh, that figure is the god that the uh, that this um, guy in the note in the last note was talking about. Sucking all the bodies into it, I believe. That must be one of the creatures, I believe. Burning to bones and... And look, there's the creatures that touch to our friend and... There's Shin Chains? Enslaved, I think? Okay. This one, and I think we just go past here. This is the last mural, right? <clears throat> They're free. They have that god in chains. And look. Look at that. Our second vision. That mountain. That must be where the... the it's just leading us to where that is. All these things are staying behind. For what? Why are they attacking us? If they were free from that god, is it the god that's been keeping them? But they sealed the god inside those mountains, yeah? They could have gone anywhere, but why are they still here? I'm just imagining something very bad's gonna happen. The more we get closer, I already know the know that the more, the more we got closer to where we need to supposed to go. Our friends are already are probably dead. <laughs> but not me. Not me. We're trying to get closer. We just keep kept on moving forward. Two over there. Look at that. Look at that. That's the place. That is the place. That's the thing we saw in our vision. Look at this. Floating rocks. Floating spikes. Floating rocks right there. What are we doing here, though? Is that the place that we... that they were being tracked into? And look. Piles. No. Spikes. Impaled bodies. Look at that. How many people have been impaled here? You can only see matching more, but look at this. Look at that. Look at that detail. This is in the, 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 the atmosphere. The camera angles. God damn, it's so fucking good. Okay. There's enough. The architecture is incredible. Indeed, it is incredible. Uh, I had never seen anything like it. No human built this. What made you think? There's some sort of being up ahead. The others call it God, but I don't think that's the right word. It's incredible, unknowable. And the creature hunting us doesn't want us to reach him. I don't know, but I can feel it. I 
I'm almost there. We live, we live our lives searching for something incredible. Something unique. Something worth dying for. That's what's at the end of this path. Something worth dying for. And if I keep pushing forward, I'll be the first to see it. I know it's worth it. It has to be worth it. Christine Rowe, 1936. Holy hell, that long. Uh, okay. That long ago. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is the first group, I guess. <laughs> I'm very sure it has been trying to keep getting people to get up here for a long time, but the creatures, but the creature, and possibly the creatures depicted from the murals, have been preventing them or us to try to get closer to this god. War bodies here. Okay, so here's the. I think this is the last note, I believe. I think it's the last note, but let's find out. I killed one of them. I killed one of those monsters following us. They move faster than anything I've ever seen. But they bleed red just like us. There should be only one left now. Indeed. It's the one that took our friends. <laughs> After I finish the bridge, I'll hunt it down and kill it too. Anything that stands between us and God needs to be extinguished. Again, dangerous thoughts, dangerous people. And I'm gonna believe why. I'm gonna believe out. Well, I'm gonna find out why. I I'm gonna assume something. I assume that this being is the one controlling the environment in the mountains, both preventing anyone that comes through the mountain to escape, and forcibly uh, force these visions into one for two individuals and make them come forward to where it is being held in. And right now, since we're the player and we are the only survivor, we are that uh, enthralled. We are its thrall, apparently. And there's that broken bridge. Now that we have the planks, we are going to build the bridge. And look at that. There's that creature. There is that creature. Oh. Okay, I just caught a glimpse on where it's standing. It's gonna be our friends, isn't it? The music just stopped. There's that creature. And yeah. I think we might be the one that killed the last one. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm just going to assume that she's just not there anymore. Broken. Oh my god, look at that. Light shines in the middle. To where our friends are. Holy hell, it, is, it, 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 it impaled them. I just realized why this is happening right now. It's hunting us, killing us. To prevent us from coming closer to this fucking god. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I can only assume in the murals, it's exactly what's going to happen if that thing is going to be released. Right now, our character is not going to listen to whatever this thing is trying to say. Look, I can't understand it too. I don't understand what it's trying to say. But look. We're killing it. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I, I know you had good reasons, man. I know you had good reasons, but look at that. Now it's all silent. It's silent. I don't like it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, boy Leo Lane. I'm sorry to have to happen to you. Christ, through the mouth too. God, I didn't like that. I'm kind of glad it's like pixelated characters and not just real characters. Uh, three-dimensional ones. It would have been worse, but hey, the gore enough is worse enough. <laughs> it was bad and was bad enough, gory enough. Okay, so 
I love how the pathway is just was there, but it just blackened out from that moment. We just killed the last of its kind. We just killed the last thing standing in our way. And look, we're just ignoring our friends, not making any comments. And we're just going forward. Moving forward. Towards wherever this is. Jesus Christ, look at this! That must be the god that they were talking about. Look at this. Look at the background. Look how it's chained up. Look how massive it is. I don't think we can go back. Can we go back? No, I don't think we can. Look at that. I don't think we can. I I just I I I know what's gonna happen, and this is gonna be bad. Yeah. Yeah. I finally made it. It's... It's incredible. Yeah, she was enthralled. Yeah. They were right. It was worth it. It was all worth it. It's... Yeah. I can't... I can't translate that as well. Even we don't know about it. You are, oh my god! You just got melted! Absorbed by it! And, yeah, she freed it. Good job, Sarah. Yeah, good job. You just freed an apocalyptic monster. Look at that. Look at that. Holy fuck, that is massive! <laughs> So I think I'll look at it here. Okay, so... Alright, so... We can call the click to see... This must be the the, the paper files we've searched here. Uh, let's see. Government agencies, blah blah blah. There's a... Uh, well, that must be the area we're in, I guess. Uh, whatever this... Wherever this moon is, I think. Um, okay. I, I could barely read it. I'm not gonna know. I'm not gonna tell. But look at this. Um, wherever that space is, it's slowly moving from the near from the years. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Across. Across that piece of America right here. And let's see. Initial expedition anomaly. Lost radio contact. It becomes a logical. Um. Uh, mm -hmm. Epicenter. Look at that. It focuses on that mountain right here, and the gravitational fluctuations. Yeah. All right, and these are the pictures of the murals that we picked up from it here. That's the god there. It does melt. It did uh, disintegrate its victims or sacrifices. It just feed itself, like it did right here. That's what happened to the uh, people after Sarah released it. Like an idiot, thrall she is. That must have been the slaves. It was in once enslaved, and the god, these things were free, and chained to the, the, the god, <clears throat> and uh, tried to prevent any anyone from coming towards this thing to release it. Obviously, the last one kind of failed, despite trying to talk to us. And we were the ones that kind of released it. Okay, so let's see. 
these are the spikes these are the uh, campsites and of course that's the last of those things that is dead in front of our dead friends and this must be the visions that we've experienced that must have been an entrance way to the um to that space uh pocket right here that is the prison where it's been kept and that is the inside of that uh cavern or cave right here excellent it's a lovely detail such a lovely detail such lovely atmosphere i loved it the music on it as well is pretty pretty damn beautiful i love it uh the story i liked it and uh uh I'm not honestly not sure and honestly I'm not sure what to say there was no there was no good ending into this game but it's such a good ending that it had a tragic ending I like it <clears throat> so okay that is it for zero visibility so thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed it again please click that like button and if you want to check the game out again links in the description and if you want to comment about the video and if you have your thoughts about the video and the game itself uh, please do so in the comments section down below and if you want more of my content please subscribe to my channel and if you want to uh, of course uh, decide or ask uh, me to which game I want to try out next or decide or uh, uh, want me to tr which games you want me to try out again do so in the comments and uh, as always thank you for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video peace